Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. I'm Neg Primer, and uh, we actually got... I came back here to turn in stuff, do stuff, and uh, freaking Hancock really wants to talk to me now. Hey. Oh no. He was like, you got a sec? And I was like, nope. Well, let's give him back his tricorn hat for now. Did you have something? Damn it, you were trying to talk. Heads up. Hey, when you got time. There you go. I got something I still need you to hear. Sure. Go ahead. I yeah. also switched out my casual clothes. I appreciate it. It's just being out here with you, it's made me realize most of my life to this point, I've been running out on the good things I've got. I skipped out on my family, my life in Diamond City. Took up with you just to get out a good neighbor. Hell, running from myself is what made me into, into a damn ghoul. But being here with you for the first time in my life, things have just felt right. And running is the furthest thing from my mind. I mean, I left good neighbor thinking I was gonna just sharpen up the old killer instinct. But whether it's fate, or destiny, or just goddamn coincidence, I ended up with someone like you. I turned one of the nastiest settlements in the Commonwealth into a refuge for the lost. I thought I'd done something I could hang my hat on, but being out here with you, it's made me realize just how small time I've been. No, don't put yourself down, buddy. Maybe all my running for my life, for myself. Maybe it wasn't such a bad thing after all. You may have run, but you always ran for a reason, Hancock. Been trying to convince myself of that for a long time. But hearing that coming from someone like you, I don't know if you understand what that means to me. But let me get to the point. Throwing in with you has been the best decision I've ever made. It's like I found a part of myself I never realized was missing. Which happens sometimes when you're a ghoul. If I hadn't taken up with you, I'd probably be in a gutter somewhere, getting gnawed on by rad roaches. You have been one hell of a friend. Yeah, I don't want to romance. You're a damn fine <laughs> man, Hancock. I'm lucky to have you at my back. And God help any of them to get in our way. Well, I know I could stand to listen about how wonderful I am for the rest of my days, but it's probably worth us hitting the road. Thanks for hearing me out, friend. Isodoped perk. I got a lovable achievement. Oh no, the Brotherhood fatigues. Oh shoot. Okay. Well, then we need to get rid of the Brotherhood fatigues. Since they are a full outfit. And instead grab back the BOS uniform. Nope. All right. Yeah. Shut up. <sighs> I was in the air, so it's not going to let me do anything. So they want me to search for the recon team up over that direction. <coughs> we might as well jump on that. continue on with this mission. Why I sold my mother. I still don't really know what the purpose of this is. Okay, so... That's a crash to Vertimerd, right? Yeah, because they crashed here, tried to make it to that satellite array. Whoa! Oh, 
Uh, didn't we clear this all out? <laughs> Report back to Deb. What's... So apparently I had a mission out here. <laughs> Okay, how do I unlock this? Where is it? Got it. Did I not ever go into this armory here? Whoa. whoa, whoa. It's all right. So we might as well power this up. It doesn't have all of its pieces, but what the hell. We're just finding suits of armor all over the place these last few episodes. Or well, at least partially filled pieces. Four mini nukes in there. I was looking at it, I actually only have 12 so far. That's what I came in here for, is the suit of armor? Okay. That's really rather weird that uh, there was a Protectron and Feral Ghouls in here that attacked each other as soon as I entered, but were not already attacking each other. Take your sugar bombs. Okay. That's apparently all that was in here. Holy crap! Ugh. I was relatively quick on the draw. If I hadn't gotten in that suit of armor, holy crap! He had a pool cue on him? Oh, yep, see, unlocking that door also unlocked him. That was brutal. <laughs> Follow the radio distress beacon.
Listen to your holotape. What was your name? Knight... Zavart Knight V something? Knight Vardom? Varham? Oh wait, that's a holotag. Uh... Battle oh it's just called the Battlefield holotape. That's why I didn't see it. Battlefield holotape. Ambushed on the road. We're outnumbered five to one. Bottom report. We're down to five percent. We'll have to scuttle the armor. We can't let them have it. Sweet, sweet. We'll head for the old military base, then try to make it to our holdout. The code will be our call sign. It's fused solid. This one, too. Hmm. So I didn't notice that there was a pile Jesus. of them. Useless. So it's interesting because if somebody dies while wearing a suit of power armor, I can't. I don't seem to be able to do anything about it. Hmm. They want me to go all the way up top. Uh, we're gonna actually go around the city here. I don't know. This might seem like a weird strategy to people, but I don't want to hit exploration on all of these different places. Oh, that core 29 is how many cores I have left over. little pits of blood and stuff all over the place. We'll go around that town for a multitude of reasons, not the least of which is there's actually going to be a bunch of enemies in there, I'm sure. But I've been looking at the amount of cores I have in relation to... Ha! I hate these things. So goddamn much. Really? Oh, 
Oh my gosh! There's a bunch of them! Hancock, what are you doing? Do not like those things. Why are there bodies just like floating awkwardly everywhere around here? Actually, might have been worth getting something marked off the map back there. Just so it's easier to get back there in the future. I don't know. I, uh, in the last episode, or the episode before that, I think I mentioned... It was last episode. I was talking about uh, the Kotaku issue. Uh, I want to kind of try to stay away from, you know, any political garbage, uh, uh, on this. Um. It's not to say I, like, regret saying anything about it or anything like that. I just want to make sure that's not, like, that's not the point of this. So don't message me with articles asking what my opinion is on how women are portrayed in the media or, or anything like that. I'm not interested in talking about it. Uh, that's not to say it shouldn't be talked about. That's just to say this is not the proper venue for that. Ow. Let's do a little bit better of a job looking for mines. Of course, now that I am looking for them. Alright, let's see if there are still people in here. Hello. Freeze. One more step and I'll, I'll blow your damn head off. Who are you? Who sent you? How did you get in here? Easy, Paladin. I'm with the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? No, no, it can't be there. They aren't here. They're 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 too far away. They 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 left me all all alone. What do you want? How did you find me? I followed the distress beacons left by your team. Their holotapes led me here. The others? What, uh, what happened to them? 
They're dead, Paladin. I recovered their tags. You... you... you did? Thank you. This... this really means a lot to me. I tried to go back for them, you know. There was nothing I could do, not alone, but... But I'd hoped you've been through a lot to find me. I should... I should give you something. I've collected a lot over the years. Technology, odds and ends. If you see anything you want, take it, take it. The Brotherhood needs you, Paladin. It's time you reported in. No, there's no going back. Not for me. Not anymore. What have you been doing all this time? I, I try to do some recon, explore a little, but I'm, I'm all alone. It was, it was just too much, too, too much of a risk. So I've been hiding so long. Three years. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, about that. Too long. Are you going to be all right? Well, I'll manage. I'm so used to hiding and fighting. Everyone. Everything. Farewell, Brandis. Goodbye. And, uh, and thanks. So I was kind of expecting... to do more fighting, otherwise I would have put this stuff on earlier. But let's see if I can change his mind. Paladin Brandis? Look, just uh, just take what you need and go. Take whatever you need, just leave me be. Damn it, seriously? Fine. I'll take everything you have. Taking your pillow too. Your mac and cheese and noodles. Just leave me in peace. Damn it. So I can't convince you to rejoin the Brotherhood. What about like something else? Like Go to Sanctuary and help me out. I could always use more help. If you're tired, there's a, there's a bed over there in the corner. Brandis. Fine. Fine. So we got all the way up there. We didn't go to any of these places in the middle. <laughs> I specifically went around these places. All right, let's go back to the Pride Win, and we'll do. We'll actually report in like we're supposed to. Oui. Load it way. Load it into the junk jet. Damn it, that tooltip actually would have been useful. I'll have to actually go back and look at it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. It said something about if you're tired of carrying so much. All right, Kells. Anything to report? 
Actually, uh, I'm going to take a look at my special. My charisma is not up uh, while I'm in this. Or it's up by one. I don't get the suit bonus. Captain Kells. Report, Knight. I've completed my investigation into the missing recon team. Paladin Brandis was the only survivor. Brandis? What happened to him? He's alive and well, but he wants to be left alone. He's given up. I expected better from him. You know! What a waste. Very well. Is there anything else? How will the Brotherhood remember them? They faced their mission with courage. They fought with honor against overwhelming odds. They lived and died together as brothers. That is what it means to be a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. That's it? Do you want their holotapes? Thank you. I'll see that they make it to their next of kin. That's it. I'll prepare a full report for the Elder. In the meantime, allow me to offer you a new suit of armor. Bear it with distinction. Uh, steadfast BOS combat armor chest piece. So is this a piece that goes on power armor? This was no easy mission, Knight. Now, I have a more pressing matter that requires your attention. I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. I suspect this may be an inside job. Ooh. An inside job? Do you have any suspects? This is treason we're talking about. In a case like this, you are either sure or you are not. Until then, everyone is a suspect. I want you to take charge of this investigation. Report well, to Knight Sergeant Gavel at the base. Wouldn't he I be a suspect? He can familiarize you with his unit and the depot. Beyond that, you have leave to conduct your investigation as you see fit. Report your findings directly to me. Is that clear? Is there anything else I should know? Gavel will fill you in on the details. But from my perspective, the strangest thing is what was stolen. Rations. Only rations. I don't know what to make of it, but it is curious. Just a guess, but it's someone that was hungry. Any other advice, Captain? Follow every lead. Look for anything suspicious, no matter how minor. But understand, treason is a serious charge. If someone in the Brotherhood is responsible for this, I need proof before I can act. <sighs> Do I need to keep my investigation a secret? It's too late for that. Rumors have already begun to spread. Sergeant Gavel and his team will be expecting you. But that only makes your task more difficult. Whoever is doing this will have had time to prepare. Yes, sir. I expect results. See that I get them. Dismissed. I don't like you. Again, it's not that I don't like the Brotherhood. It's I don't like you. Okay. Heart, 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 heart. You're so funny, Hancock. All right, people. Uh, we are going to wrap it up there for this episode. Uh, and then we will move on to the next one. Thanks for watching.